Okay, so I definitely feel like I'm like more independent here and I have to manage my time better just because my parents aren't here to like rely on them. So I have to do things like keep track of everything I have to do. I have to do my own laundry. I have to make sure I schedule my own like health services appointments, just like things like that. One thing that's different about being in college versus being at home is that my mom used to cook me a lot of homemade meals. So I'd come back from dance late at night and there'd be a meal waiting for me. But now that I'm in college, it's definitely been a struggle. Um, making my own meals or buying my own meals or just even planning when to go to the dining hall with my friends. So I've definitely found like independence through that and just choosing what I want for dinner versus like my mom kind of choosing what to make. Um, during high school, my mom would always check up on me and make sure I was doing my homework on time and make sure everything was submitted. Um, but now I have to do all of that on my own, which is making me warm. And When I was at home, my mom used to do all my laundry for me, but now being at college, I take it upon myself to clean my own clothes and do my own laundry. I first realized that I had to start doing stuff on my own was when my parents left because I realized that I didn't really know anybody here yet, so I needed to like start going out there and putting myself out there. So I just started meeting new people in like my classes and my dorm hall and started meeting new friends. In college, I'm more independent because at home, my mom used to call in my prescriptions and now I have to call in my prescriptions and pick them up. Hi future Ava, this is you, your freshman year, in the last week of summer session in 2022. It's crazy to think that you'll be watching this in 2026. I hope this video finds you joy and nostalgia as I'm wrapping up my first semester here and these six weeks have already gone by so fast. I just know you'll be reading this and be thinking how fast the past four years went by. I hope you know what career route you want to take in the future or hopefully already have a job or internship by now. As a freshman, I'm still struggling to figure out what I want to do with my future and constantly go back and forth with majors every day. I'm currently following the route of psychology major, but recently have been contemplating that decision. I'm beginning to lack interest in the career options it offers, so I hope that my interest grows in that aspect or I find something else I am passionate about. As long as you're doing something you love and have fun, I'm sure you'll thrive in life. Also, I hope you're able to stay on top of your grades and find motivation to keep them up for the past four years, because right now I would say I'm hard on myself for academics. But aside from academics, I hope you have fun at Penn State and got all that you could out of it. Dad has always told me that his years at Penn State were the best years of his life, and I hope that you felt the same way. So far, living here has been nothing less than amazing. I now understand the hype about summer session that my cousins always talked about. Right now, I have a current friend group of eight here for summer, and they are the most genuine girls, and I've connected with them so fast. It has been so helpful to have them by my side to do everything with, and it has helped me transition into college a lot easier. I'm so thankful for the summer session for helping me learn my way around campus, but I bet by now you know campus like the back of your hand. Lastly, I hope you get involved. I have always wanted to rush a sorority since I've been young, and seeing my mom continue to keep in touch with her sisters has encouraged me to join. I hope that you found girls that you clicked with and will hopefully be in your life forever, and I can't wait to see who the constant friends are in your life. I also hope that you have done THON and help fundraise for young patients that need help. A big reason I chose to come here was to be involved with THON because it looks like so much fun. Continue to be yourself throughout life, and I, believe, I can't believe college is over for you, but go out there and do what you love.